Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the Road Armor Titan II front bumper on this 2017 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so our first step would be to take off our factory bumper. Now we've already had some aftermarket bumpers on and off of this truck, so we've already gone ahead and done that. But if you need help with that, go ahead and check out our video on how to remove your factory front bumper. Now that after you get that off, we're going to take our driver's side bracket, we're going to Notice that on the outside it's going to have a slanted cut and on the other side it's going to be more straight and the part number is also going to be cut backwards into this bracket and that's how we know that that's our driver side bracket. And then we're just going to fit it right into our frame just like that. Now with our bracket in place we're actually going to pull that back a little bit to expose the hole at the bottom. We're going to take our longer bolt plate and put it through there. Now as we push this up, that's going to align with the hole in the bottom of the frame where our factory tow hook came out. So once that falls through, we're going to take a washer and a lock washer and put that on there. And then we're also going to put a nut at the bottom. And then we're just going to leave that loose for right now. Next, we're going to take a smaller bolt plate, go in through the front again, and this time we're going to go to the side. And as you see the bolt come through, we're going to put a washer, lock washer, and nut on there as well. And again, we're just going to leave that loose for right now. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the frame. We'll stick our small bolt plate through the side. And then we're going to put a washer, lock washer, and a nut. Now that we have all of our bolts in, we're going to go ahead and tighten them down. So then we're going to use a 19 millimeter, and we can tighten down all three bolts. Next, we're going to take the second piece of our driver's side bracket. It's going to have the engraving uh, the same as the first piece. It's going to be backwards on the front. Um, our uh, tab side is going to be towards the inside of the vehicle, and it's going to fit up just like this. And then we can see on the bottom right side, it's actually going to have the same side slant as our first bracket. Now, our top four bolts are going to use our factory bolts and they're going to go right into the frame horn. And we're just going to leave these all loose for right now. Now our bottom two holes are going to take our small bolt plates. I'm going to feed them from the front. We're going to put a washer, lock washer, and a nut on the back. We're going to do that on both sides. Now we're going to repeat all those steps on the other side. Next, what we want to do is measure our brackets inside our bumper and make sure that they're the same as what's on the truck. So what we're going to do is measure the inside first. That's about 40 and a half inches. And now we're going to go to the truck. And this time, we're not going to measure outside to outside. We're going to measure from the inside of the outer bracket on one to the other side. And we want that to be about the same, 40 and a half inches. So ours is a little bit big, so we're going to scoot it in on each side. 
Now you want to make sure that you have this even when you're doing this. You want to scoot each one in about the same amount. Good. Now that we've measured everything, we should be able to tighten down our brackets on our truck and everything should line up when we go to put our bumper on. Now we can use a 15 millimeter to tighten down our factory bolts and we're going to use a 19 millimeter to tighten down our new bolts. Now we're going to use a 19 millimeter ratcheting wrench to tighten down our two provided nuts and bolt plates. And once you get all those tight, you're going to want to repeat that on the opposite side and then you're going to remeasure your brackets to make sure you still have the same distance that you had before. Next, we need to take our wiring harness out of our factory bumper. Now, if you take a look at the back here, you can see that there's some metal bracketry that is kind of holding it in place. We need to remove that, and then we can get to it and take it out and replace it into our other bumper. That's going to be a 15 millimeter bolt. We're going to start on one side and just work our way down to the other side. It's going to be three along the top. We're also going to unplug our fog light, undo any clips that are holding the harness in place. And then you might have some on the other side that are holding it down too. Just pull those out. Pull our metal bracket out. And now we can see all of our wiring here. We can take our sensors out if you have them. You just have to push the red tab, push down, just pull it out. We do that on all four sensors. And again, if you have them hooked into the bumper anywhere, you just have to pull those out might need a panel popper tool. Sometimes they're pretty easy to just pull out, but you're going to do that all the way down the bumper. Next, we're going to remove our sensors. To do that, we're going to push back on the tabs and then just pull gently on the sensor. But it should come out just like that. Now, when you take your sensor out, you want to make sure that you keep it in the same position and orientation in the other bumper. So once you get the sensor out, then you can take your um, little holding piece for the sensor and that just has tabs on the sides that you can push in. Once you get it out, it should just slide out and you're going to repeat that on all the other sensors. Now we're going to reinstall our sensors the same way that we took them out. You should hear them pop into place. That's when you know you're good and you can move on to the next one. We're going to do that same thing on all four sensors. So now we're going to take our wiring harness and plug it back in the way that we took it out. We're going to fish it behind our bracket in our bumper. Fish it out the other side. Once we get our fog light and our sensor plug out, 
We can go ahead and plug our sensor back in. Make sure you push your red tab down, that'll lock it in place. Do the same thing on our next sensor, and then we're going to repeat that on the opposite side. Now we're going to take a nut plate, we're going to put it on the inside of our bracket on our bumper. We're going to take our provided button head bolts, we're going to put those through the small slotted hole at the bottom and top. Match that up with our nut plate. And once we got that in place, we can take a locking nut. We can put that on our bolt. And we're just going to leave it, we're going to get it about hand tight, maybe a little bit less. We want it to be able to still move up and down, but we want it to stay in there and not come out. Do the same thing at the top. When you get those in, you want to make sure that they can still move up and down for adjustment. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. And again, when we get those on, we want to be able to slide those up and down. Once you have that, we're going to repeat that on the opposite side. Now, you can see the holes right up front here. That's where our Road Armor logo is going to go on the front. So we're going to take the first part of it, put our button head bolts through the holes. Put them through our bumper, and we have a locking nut that's going to go on the back side. Same thing on the other portion, button head bolts through the front, through our bumper with our locking nuts on the back. Now we're going to go ahead and tighten these down. Now we're going to use an eighth inch Allen and a 10 millimeter ratchet, and we'll just tighten these down. Now we're ready to lift our bumper onto our brackets. Now what we're going to do is the two brackets that are on our bumper are going to fit inside the brackets on our truck. And then we're going to take a bolt with a lock washer and a flat washer and we're going to thread it through the outside of our bracket on our truck. And it's going to thread into our nut plates on our brackets on our bumper. We're going to do three on each side of the bracket and then we're going to do that on three on each side of the other bracket. Okay, so you're gonna need a couple guys to lift this bumper up. If you measured properly, it should align up there. And then we can start threading in our bolts. So with our bumper set in place, we can put our bolts in. Now you might have to move your bolt plate up or down a little bit, but once you get into place, you can thread in your bolt with your lock washer and your flat washer. So now we already have one bolt in to hold it in place, but we're going to go ahead and put our other two bolts in on this side, and then we'll flip around to the other side of the bracket and put the three bolts in on that side. We're just going to leave those hand tight for right now. And once we get all of our bolts in, we'll make our adjustments on our bumper, and then we can do our final tightening. 
Now we're gonna put our other three bolts in. This might be a little hard to see. But once you get everything lined up, you should be able to just thread those in like you did on the other side. Once you get all those hands started, you're going to go ahead and repeat that on the opposite bracket. Now that we have our bumper on and we have all our bolts loosely in place, we want to make sure that the bumper is centered from side to side. So we'll, we can look down the middle, make sure our logo is centered. This one needs to come over just a hair. It should slide. It might take a little bit of effort because this thing is heavy, but just keep checking it little by little. And then once we get it where we want it, we can actually lift it up and then tighten it down. So now we're gonna get a couple jacks to raise the bumper into place. Depending on how high your truck is, you might have to get a couple pieces of wood underneath like we do. Basically the things that we're gonna check is to make sure that our top is level. And then we're also going to check our side to make sure that's level. So once we have both sides level, then we can go ahead and tighten down all of our bolts. So now we can reach in through the front of the bumper and tighten down our three bolts that are on the inside with a 19 millimeter socket. Now we can move to the outside bolts. Okay, now we're on the outside of our bracket, and now it's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but there's gonna be three bolts there that we put in earlier. We're just gonna tighten those down with our 19 millimeter socket. Alright guys, the last thing you need to do is plug in your wiring harness, but that completes the installation. If you have any questions, give us a call or visit us online. Thanks.